A cancer diagnosis was made to the king after he underwent a battery of medical testing not long ago. The French prophet Nostradamus was said to have predicted the king's abdication about 450 years ago, not long after he inherited the crown from his mother, according to those who believe in his prophecies. Numerologist Ifit Orloff, who focuses on both Western and Kabbalistic numerology, lends credence to Nostradamus's prediction that the Prince of Wales, the Prince of Wales, will not succeed his father but rather a man who had no sign of a king, in this case Prince Harry. The birth date of the king is November 14, 1948, and according to Orloff, his destiny number is 2. According to the Tree of Life, he sits on the Yesed Hash and the Empress's card. Even though he doesn't show it much, the monarch is extremely sensitive and takes things personally. His numerology indicates that the health of his body is directly related to his mental state. He has been suffering from health problems and extreme worry and stress as a result of the immense responsibility of becoming king and succeeding Queen Elizabeth II. I am confident that he has had other sensitivities that have been treated and are currently being examined. His diagnosis goes beyond the prostate and includes the urinary tract, blood arteries, lymph nodes, and blood sugar level balancing. The king's general health will be determined by this next year. Orloff suggests that the king take a break from ruling for nine months, concentrate on getting well, and then give his sons the power they rightfully deserve. The king's health can improve if he learns self-care and can accept assistance from others during the next year. I would listen carefully to his physician's advice because his numerological DNA isn't as powerful as he claims it is. On June 21, 1982, the future king or queen was born the Prince of Wales. Despite his personal struggles and the impact of recent events, he is expected to gradually begin adopting his role as king. Because of these things, people wonder if the Prince of Wales is fit to be king. The prince is currently experiencing the reflective energy of his seventh personal year. Taking on a new significant responsibility right now can be tough, demanding, and yes, perhaps impossible. But he'll enter three years of tremendous empowerment, beginning with his forthcoming birthday. To assist him be ready for his future duty, powerful people will lend him a hand and encourage him. Serious misunderstandings may arise in the future years between the two brothers due to their vastly different personalities. Ultimately, the king is not enjoying a particularly auspicious time right now. He has to deal with his inflated sense of self-importance while simultaneously preserving his monarchy. The flip side of the coin is his ill health and the inevitable resignation. His inner strength belies his ostensibly carefree nature. According to numerology, the Duke is the best candidate for the throne. We may anticipate a fascinating trip for the King, some unveiling in front of his personal family, and a greater comprehension that health is an issue that even kings must address. No one can deny that the whole family is in for a rough year ahead. And that's it for our video. I will like to see what you think in the comments. Thanks and see you in the next video.